Logan. Uh, this video is to do with uh, Stan Meyer's secret. Uh, Stan Meyer's work. It's the fact that so many people have missed the point. In fact, it's all have missed the point. This here. You see this? This is what Stan was all about. Fair enough, he came up uh, his way of producing hydrogen was fantastic, phenomenal, you know. But that's not even what he was working on. It's the burn rate. Okay, as we all missed the point, it's the burn rate. I've been trying for a couple of days trying to think how to put this point across. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna read one of his patents for you. It's not it's not a long one. Um as you know non compostable gas and stuff. This is one that has to do with it. This is one that in fact it's a lot of it's all through his his uh um his work. But I'm gonna start with this one. Canadian patent uh number one two three five six six nine. Okay. Here's the abstract. A sustained controlled gas flame, the hydrogen generator utilized provides gases for water having impurities and other gases entrapped therein. The hydrogen generator has a chamber for holding a quantity of water and a pair of non-oxidizing electrodes are located in the chamber. A rippling wave form Electric potential is applied across the electrodes without any change of polarity and the current flow is limited. The gases separated from the water comprise combustible gases such as hydrogen, oxygen and non-combustible gases such as nitrogen. He makes a big point all through a lot of his um, patents uh, about the nitrogen content in the water. Okay. Such nitrogen. The nitrogen, oxygen and hydrogen are mixed as they are released in the process and collect, collected as a mixture of gases in a collection chamber of the generator. So he's talking about the top of your water fuel cell. A nozzle having one or more ports of a given configuration is connected through a line to the uppermost region of the gas collection chamber of the hydrogen generator. The nitrogen reduces the velocity and temperature of the burning flame from that of the hydrogen oxygen mixture. So that, that's what he's talking about. Reduces the velocity and temperature. It was all about you can take the burn rate down to anything. You can have it uh, to equate with petrol, propane, diesel, any of them things. Uh, burn rate. To further control the temperature and velocity of the burning gas mixture there are added to the collection chamber other non-combustible gases. That's where he's recirculating burnt gases from the flame back into the system. We'll talk about that in a minute. The configuration of the nozzle and its port openings for sustaining a flame is dependent on the mixture of gases utilized and restricted thereby. An increase in the size of the flame requires additional port openings to prevent blowout. See, I'll talk you out in a second. I'll just see this. <coughs> the invention relates to apparatus for generating gases from water and for controlled burning of such generated gases. Uh, it has been found that all water in its natural state whether it be tap water, well water, sea water or fresh water is a saturate of ambient air. Further, in that ambient air contains a substantial amount of nitrogen, all natural water will have entrapped therein nitrogen. Again, the percentage of nitrogen entrapped in natural water has been determined to be a fixed percentage and very uniform in respect of the source of the water or its impurities. A principal object of the present invention is to provide a new and improved hydrogen generate, oxygen generator that is 
operable from a water source that provides hydrogen oxygen output that will have a sustained burn. Another object of the present invention is to provide a hydrogen oxygen generator that in addition to the hydrogen and oxygen gases releases non-combustible nitrogen gas capable of reducing the burning velocity and temperature of a pure hydrogen oxygen flame. I'm telling you, it was all about the burn rate. Now get that point because that's so, so important. Everyone's missed it. I've searched the internet, I've searched YouTube, you know, nobody gets it. You know, I feel like I'm freaking alone in this. It's head's gonna explode. Might do. Uh, a further object of the present invention is to provide a hydrogen generator that includes the controlled addition of other non-combustible gases to the gas chamber they're off to thereby further control the burning velocity and temperature of the hydrogen gas. It's all there people, you know, and I think it's so been overlooked that uh, this, this is such an important thing, really, really important. With uh, all with a bit of luck, uh, within two weeks uh, I should be in a position to build a replica of Sam's, uh, uh, Stan's water fuel cell. And uh, the thing about it is, right, you can have all your non combustibles going in and then adding just small amounts of hydrogen to achieve your burn rate. What he's talking about is having pressurized system. His water fuel cell is his pressurized chamber that releases the hydrogen um, at, at a given rate into the nitrogen and non-combustible mixture. Now, this here system He's returning gases from the exhaust system, cooling them down so they're now non-combustible gases and they're meter mixed, intermixed with this here, the output from the water fuel cell, which is then introduced and then extra air is added into the mixture to achieve your burn rate. So therefore atomizing the gas mixture in here at a given percentage, the equivalent of total and bang, there you go. Here's a burner system. That's the one I'm going to focus on. Okay, you have your gas, your mixture of gas introduced here. So you have, there's a small bit let off for, here for a pilot light. With the jet going in here, then your ambient gases are being sucked in with that to give your burn rate uh, at whatever determined level the size of this nozzle makes and all. What then he's doing is, as the flames are burnt. You have non-combustible gases which are reclaimed from here and then sent back to your metering valve. Same system here. This here is the cooler coming from whether it be a burner or a combustion chamber. Same principle. This gas is metered. Here's the mixing stage. Here's your hydrogen generator. This is your water fuel cell. It's metered. So this here is metered. They're mixed here at a given rate and then you're having ambient air is mixed in here given on the pressure. You know, depending on, on your on your output pressure will will be your gas flow air flow in here. This here's a closed system. So it is with your water here and uh pumped round and so it's closed system. This here is Stan's water fuel cell. Each one of these is one of his circular chambers or tubes inside the chamber. He had multiples of them and his thought was that he only switched 
as many in as required for what you needed because the fact that the fact that you don't need that much hydrogen I mean there, there's boys out there working on cells looking for 40 50 liters per minute I believe and I'm, I'm gonna go out of my way to prove this point that one liter per minute should sustain combustion uh, in a heating system like this one liter per minute and probably maybe about 20 liters of air or um, God knows, I don't know the mixture yet, I'm, I'm going to work on it, okay? But, like I say, people have missed the point. It's not the amount of hydrogen, it's the mix in the hydrogen. It's thinning it down, it's watering the hydrogen down to get your burn rate. Right, I hope you understand that. I hope somebody with a working cell tries an experiment with this just to sort of indicate what, I, what I'm thinking but it's all here it's all in Stan's work this here is another system he had where he had it was able to switch the cell off and on with pressure switches determine the amount of pressure that was in the vessel that's the thing if you watch Stan, uh, Stan and his water fuel cell, you'll see it's a pressure vessel. And uh, this this uh, configuration here was all made to work with small amounts of hydrogen. Read them. They're all out there. Okay. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope that somebody takes note of this and gives it a go, but I, I will be doing it myself, and uh, very soon. Okay, uh, not the volume, it's having some pressure, so that you can meter it out at a given rate. You don't need a big lot. You only need to be able to put it out on a small amount and uh, water it down. That's what it's all about. Water the hydrogen down till you get your uh, preferred concentration. And just one thing before I quit. I bought this um, for an experiment and I was going to stick it back on eBay because it didn't sort of fit the bill. There's actually eight small separate pumps inside of this. Um, but I'm going to keep it now, and this is one of the things I'm going to use for my experiment to uh, to water down the hydrogen, to intermix more and more air with it, and non-combustibles until I can get my burn rate right. Okay, people, I. Uh, I hope you take note of this because this is very, very important if, if you're doing following Stan Myers or water fuel cell work at all. It's the burn rate, it's not the amount of hydrogen. Okay? So, peace, enjoy yourselves, bye for now.